Oh, demonetized. Oh, demonetized. Oh, demonetized. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex, and welcome back to some more GTA 5, where today we're going to be checking out yet another law friendly mod. There's quite a few of these we need to catch up on, so I just need to get through these. Although I say that as if we're struggling and this is not fun. Actually, these have all been amazing so far, and today is no different, because today we are looking at actually a rather bloody and battered up car after running over a bunch of people. Let me just fix all of that. Oh wow, that was definitely a lot bigger. Today we're looking at this. This is the Benefactor Schwarzer, or actually the Schwarzer Classic, and this is based on an old Mercedes from like the early mid 90s, that sort of thing as you can tell from this front end. What I'm also gleaming from this is this headlight setup looks very much like the Sentinels that you got from GTA 3. There's just something about these lights that just make me think of that instantly. So there's also a, like a little bit of old Sentinel in this one as well, I think. You might recognize the body shape as well. This is actually taken from, I think it's called the Glendale. This is where I've suddenly forgotten a bunch of car names, but if we spot one, we'll be able to compare them because I've seen one driving around. There we go, right there. So this is basically like a coupe version of that with the exact same roof shape as you can see there and pretty much the same body lines. The only difference is this has a completely different rear end and a completely different front end, which to be honest, it looks a lot better than the Benefactor Glendale, whatever this is that's on the right. So in today's video, we're gonna be modifying this. There's actually some modifying parts and there's also a GT version of this car, GTR, something like that. Basically a modified version that has a little kit on it. So we'll do a couple of builds, see what sort of cool thing we can make with this. But before we do, there's going to be some comments on the screen. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. And I'll pick some good comments and leave them in the next one. Again, I used to have a much more catchier thing to explain that bit, but I don't really pick them at random. So it seems a bit silly for me to say that all the time. Anyway, I'll get that figured out. For now, we should go and park somewhere right down here. Is this going to be a little bit too dark down here? We've definitely not parked down here before. And here we are with everything opened up so we can get a nice look. So first of all, I want to point out that this, for some reason, I don't know whether this was a mistake, but this part of the door is still attached to the body. And then we get this sort of like open-ended bit of door where it's got the frame, but then there's nothing on the right-hand side. That might be a bug. I don't think that's intentional, but there we are. As you can see, that's how it's ended up looking like. But we have the interior. This seems to be pretty much a generic old muscle car interior that's taken from other GTA 5 cars. Perhaps a bit of an odd choice. Um, but I don't really remember what other sort of interiors we can get that would actually match this better. But, you know, it's, it's definitely interesting. But at least it's a nice, clean, rockstar made interior. On the boot, there's pretty much nothing in there. And then underneath, we've just got a basic, simple sort of not really that 3D engine, it's basically just a, yeah, there's not much shape to it. But again, as I've pointed out, it's always nice to have 3D engines, but at the same time, how often do we look under the engine bay in our cars in GTA? Let's be honest. So to take a look at this car, I figured we might as well spawn in the Glendale so you can see exactly how it's changed or where it's actually similar. So this is the standard Glendale you get in GTA 5. Over here we have the Glendale Coupe. This is part of the Vanilla Works extended mod pack. As you can see, it's just the two-door version. So this seems to be based on the coupe version of the Glendale, except for the whole rear end has changed. So we've actually got a bit more of a pronounced looking boot lid compared to this one. This one looks a little bit more smoothed in, uh, but the same sort of shape as you can see there. All of that sort of curve on the rear window, that's all exactly the same. In fact, to be honest, it's actually just taking the same interior from the Glendale. The Glendale had that old style muscle-esque looking 80s interior. So this one's just gone ahead and gone for the same one but as you can see bumpers and stuff have all been changed these bumpers sort of go back a lot more this one doesn't have all the chrome on the arches which also they stick out a lot more on this one than they do on this one so the arches have been changed a bit but we still have the lock in the same place we have the benefactor badge in the same place this one has the schwarzer badge and then we've got the different lights and stuff on the rear end then on the front it's just a front end change as you can see, there's none of this light here. We don't have any of that. Different type of bumpers. 
and just a completely different front end, which means that this whole bit has been shaped in differently because of the fact that this has sort of these lights that stick out with the sort of bulge at the top, whereas this one doesn't have that. It's actually got the bonnet bulge that goes with the massive grille in the middle. So interesting front end swap, but the rears and the sides, definitely pretty similar, even got that stripe going down on the side and the same wing mirrors as well. Right, so seems that we've already been here. Let's just travel somewhere else and we're gonna go ahead and modify this thing. And then once we've done that, we'll also spawn in one of the uh, GT versions of this car and we'll do a version of that too. Okay, do you know what? We'll park here again, but of course we've got to kill this guy or at least scare him off because, well, he's loud and annoying. Do you know what? That's the more family friendly version, just sticking a gun at someone's face and not actually shooting them. Is that family friendly? Well, it's not involving killing, so I guess so. Okay, so let's start off with Benny's Loretta mods just in case. And there is actually one. Okay, so we got some arch covers, which is going to actually just be either the taped up headlights or the mesh guard on the headlights. That's, that's curious. I don't know what style that's supposed to go with exactly, but yeah, mesh for whatever reason. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to keep that stock on both of those for now, but I guess perhaps we can make this into a rally version. That might be one of the builds. So, in the front bumper options, we have the stock. We have the front bumper deletes. That's probably going to be a little bit more racy, a little bit more rally. We have the fully painted bumper instead of this one, which actually has, like, the black plastic stops on it. Then we have the other version of the painted. Oh, that's the fully painted. Then that's the half painted, because actually, in standard, it is a sort of chrome. So we have the painted one. Then we have the front bash bar. Okay, right. That might mean that we can have, like, a stock car version, or at least, like, a demolition derby style one, or something like that. Anyway, or we have the Dakar front bumper. Again, very interesting. <laughs> Then on the rear, do you know, actually, we're not going to keep that. We need to just go for something nice and simple. I'm actually feeling the, the painted bumper with the black stops. I quite like that, so I'm going to go for that. On the rear bumper, we have the options of the stock, which is the chrome and the black. Then we have the delete. We have the fully painted rears. We have the half painted, and then we've got the rear bash bar as well. That's going to be a very interesting build later on with that. Again, let's just go for the half painted on the rear bumper. Then on the skirts, the only option are the side bash bars, so I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to keep those stock. Then on the exhaust, our options are the stock, the double exhaust. Oh, it just mirrors it over the other side. Then we have the dual shotgun and the big ball. These might have been taken from the Glendale, some of these mods. I have a feeling that might be the case for this. Uh, for this one, I just want to go for a nice, simple, single big bore. Or actually, no. Do you know what? Let's go for a nice double. Keep it simple. Yeah, that would do. On the chassis, we have the options of the front and rear tow hooks. So we've got that there. And then that on the rear right there. Or we have... Oh, right next to a bin. This is kind of annoying. It's because I've zoomed in. So obviously I... Yeah, there we go. And mud flaps right there. I guess that's going to go with the rally version. We'll build in a minute. Um, but do you know what? I'm going to keep those stock. Then onto the grill, we have the stock grill. We have the mesh grill, which gets rid of the bar in the middle. We have the slat grill. Interesting. Then we have the mesh grill and hood logo. Very, very Mercedes. Very cool. Then we have that one, which just has that badge sort of floating in the middle. Then we have the slat grill with the badge at the top. And then we have this one with the badge right there in the middle of the grill. Um, I think it's a toss-up between this one and that one, I think. Do you know what? I'm going to go for that because I'm going to make it just a nice slammed classic look. Then onto the fenders. It's actually the front skid plate. Again, that will work for another build, but not this one. Then on the fenders, we have... Actually, they're not fenders. It's going to be some fog lights. We have dual fogs. We have quad fogs. We've got covered jewels. We've got covered quads. And then we've got ones that are just covered in different options. So we have the side covered and we have the centered covered. Again, these are all going to look pretty good for some sort of rally build, but again, they don't suit this classic style I want to go for first, so we'll go for that. On the roof, which is actually the mirrors, we're going to have the painted mirrors with the stock, then the painted, or the aero, which do not suit this car one bit. I'm going to go for the painted mirrors on that one, and that is all of those done. So let's just go for suspension, slam it down, which actually doesn't do much at all. Thankfully, we've got V-Stancer. On the extras, we have nothing. So it's just a case of paint and wheels. 
And as I'm changing the color of this, I'm also noticing that one, this top bit is going to be the secondary color. I think that's like the Glendale. But we've also got these bits in the middle being color coded. And I've got to be honest, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, which means I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to grill and I'm just going to get that version of the grill without the colored stripe in the middle because I don't want it matching with any of the colors. I just wanted it chrome. So we'll do that and we'll go back to paint. Okay, so I've gone for bronze on this one purely because I think it's a color that would just match the age of this car. This would have been a color that you would have found on a Mercedes of this age. So I'm going to go for that. I'm actually going to make the secondary color the same. So it's just that color throughout as well, just like so. So we now have a full bronze, old man style. Even with the painted bumpers, the painted bumpers makes it a little interesting because color coding you perhaps wouldn't have expected. It would have been nice, actually, if we had a full black plastic version of the bumpers. Not the chrome and the plastic, not the painted and the plastic, not the full painted, but all black. That would have been cool. Never mind though. And let's go for some wheels. I don't know what wheels are going to suit this. I'm going to have a play around. Do you know what? I think, I think this is going to be a good idea. I'm going to go for some low rider multi-spoke wheels. Like either this or this. I think this one's actually going to look a little bit better. And we'll try and get... Oh, it's going to be all coloured. So is that going to be like an all gold? That might be a little bit too much. I was hoping we was going to have chrome on the outside of that one. Okay, annoyingly, the only options that we'd have from that is the ones that are actually in standard GTA and not from the Law for Any Wheels mod, and they all suck so bad. They look awful. I mean, look at the spokes on that thing. They're just flat. Terrible. Absolutely terrible looking wheels. Or my other option is to go for something like that, which are just a little bit too big, I think. So I'm actually going to take this in the complete opposite direction of what anyone was expecting me to do. Just because we've not built one of these in a while and I think it's funny and I think it's just going to, it's not going to match the car because let's be honest, donks never look good on anything but it's, it's, I, l I love making stupid cars and well, where's the big bar one? There it is, big bar. Look at that. <laughs> so now. I'm going to jump out the camera mode and go to V-Stancer. And I'm just going to make the wheels bigger. Make them a little bit wider. And make them... That's... That's donkey enough, I'd say. That's about right. Okay, considering we've also got to make these, they might even be a little bit too big now. Yeah, I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. I mean, hopefully we can still drive the car and it's not going to be all bugged out. Let's see. Oh, that works. That works, hopefully... Lifting up the suspension is not going to create too many issues as well. We're going to use visual lowering, so we try and not break something. But we might have to use visual lowering and... Actually, no. We can get that right. That works. I mean, they do look a little bit too big for this, just because of the amount of space that we get. The other thing is, if we do the visual lowering, we don't get all the spindles attaching to the wheels. And it just looks a bit odd. But there is our donk. Right there, we can actually go for just a little bit wider on the wheels, I think. There we go. That's perhaps a little bit more realistic. And there is a oh, classic donk Mercedes. This is pretty much like a pristine bronze looking Mercedes or Benefactor Schwarzer. But with donk wheels and lifted. Do you know what? I'm going to try. I think this is going to bug it out. But I just want to see. I just want to knock this back down. And I want to use the real suspension. Here we go. I'm going to lift that up. So now you can see that it actually is supposed to attach, but I guess it's not really designed to be lifted that much. There we go. I'll bring that down and then do the same on the front. This might bug out. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, uh, yep. Yeah, that's, that's broken now. I don't think we can get back. Okay. Yeah. That's... No. <laughs> that's not going to work. And, oh, that's actually going to topple over at the first mention of a corner. Just even thinking about corners is going to make this thing topple over, I think. There we go. Yeah. Well, do you know what? That was a stupid fun build. Let's now check out the other version. Because there's another spawnable version. With a bunch... I've just pressed a bunch of keys that I shouldn't have done. And here we are with the STR version. Which looks pretty much identical to the original one. It doesn't have anything fancy on it right now, but it does come with some nicer looking wheels. 
These actually look like old AMG Mercedes wheels. So again, double points because that looks awesome, especially in this black. Just that on its own just looks cool to me. But let's see what we can do to this. So let's just go to menus mod, vehicle options, menus customs. And let's go for low rider mods. There's actually nothing in there. So we seem to have oh, actually less... Oh, the other one's gone. Less parts than the other version. We've got the option of just this chrome and plastic one, full painted, and then the half painted one, and that's it. So I sort of want to go for just stock on this one. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go for full painted because I've got an idea in my head. On the rear bumper, we have the option of the stock with the full painted and the half. Let's just go for the full painted. On the exhaust, it's the same options once again. I'm going to go for the big bore. On the grill, these are all the same options. I'm just going to go for a simple just debadged mesh grill like that. On the roof, aha, now this is where I spot something different. So we have the painted mirrors, or we have the aero mirrors, or ignore all of those, and we have this. Now, sadly, it's a shame we can't select this and the other mirrors, because these mirrors are a little bit dated looking. I'd rather have these mirrors and the STR package together, but it doesn't really matter. Does it actually change something on the interior, or is that me? Uh, oh, it adds just a... That's not right. That's... Oh! Oh! Oh. Okay. Do you know what? This is actually supposed to have a spoiler on it. But something has gone wrong here. Oh, that's such a huge shame. Okay. If this ever gets fixed, I'm going to show this at the start of another video because I think that would look really cool with that on there. Oh, that is such a shame. Such a shame that we're missing the rear spoiler, but at least we've still got the kit at least and let's just check We haven't got anything in the extras in here. Nope. Okay, nothing. So let's just get a wheels Let's just find some nice wheels for this Although the wheels that are on it were pretty nice anyway, but there we are something like that looks pretty nice And I'm gonna make that carbon black because I'm gonna change the color of the car in a second Although I've gone through all the colors and to be honest I'm actually really liking the dark colors on this car So I'm just gonna go for midnight purple just to make it slightly different Maybe even do the metallic version of the Midnight Purple. Oh, there we go. There we go. Then on the secondary, I guess we'll just have the whole thing Midnight Purple. That's, that'll work. That'll work very nicely, I think. But maybe we'll put the wheels back to default. I think that will actually match it a little bit nicer. Maybe Midnight Purple matching. Nah, nah, nah. Let's, let's, let's just let's not take the mech. We'll go for default. And then we'll just play around. I'll make these poke out a little bit more. We'll slam this down to get it nice and flush. Oh, actually, let's not get it crazy flush because I want this to sort of look a bit like a 90s style car. So we'll actually tuck that in a little bit. And I'll tuck that in a little bit. And I'll sort of bring it like that. That's very sort of 90s, early 2000s slammed look. Pretty simple in that it's just make sure the wheels are not rubbing. Although these are, but to be honest, we can't really escape that. And just tuck them in. Yeah, that's... Actually, we'll make the wheels a little bit smaller. That's what I'll do. Just marginally smaller. There we go. It's a subtle change, but it does mean that we can get it a little bit lower. There we go. Perfect. And I've got to say, that colour is just beautiful looking. I love the look. Oh, man, that is so nice. I want a car in real life that looks like that. Because that colour is just gorgeous. But there is our second build completely done so i'm gonna do one more with this kit just to see if i can make some sort of like stance nation style one and then i'm gonna try a rally one afterwards as well see what sort of one we can make here so let's go for a, a, a time lapse because we've seen all the parts now let's just build the next build Okay, and here we are done with the next build where I wanted to try out stunts. So all I've just done is I've pretty much made the same build as this one, but I've gone for the badge grill this time, and I've gone for like this two-tone. So I've actually made this matte black on the top. Let's perhaps zoom out. This will make it a little bit easier. I've made this matte black to try and make it look like it was one of the soft top versions. It was my attempt at it. It sort of works. And then I've gone for this candy red. I feel like I should go for the metallics with these cars because it's just sort of like with these cars being custom, you'd think that they would go for some sort of crazy paint. So there we go. And then I've just gone for these wheels 
all cambered out on the rear like that and then on the front I've actually got it like sloped down at the front so it's really low at the front and I've tucked the wheels in just for an interesting look right there there we go and I just realized that this guy's back do you know what this time we'll kill him maybe they won't come back this time Oh, and I've just smashed my winners out. Lovely. So yeah, let's part this one up and let's do the final build because I want to see what the other car looks like as a rally car. Let's give this a go. Okay, and here we are with the final product for the final build. So what I've done with this one is I wanted to go for like a worn old brown. I wanted it to look like it was like an old rusty ratty version of this car. And then I just went for this grey roof. The reason I did that was because actually these bars and everything work off the secondary colour. And that was just the only way that I could make them sort of look a little bit different. So uh, I've gone for those, and we've gone for the fog lights, gone for the tape lights, we've gone for the skid pad. Then on the rear, we've got the bar, we've got the twin exhausts, and then I've gone for the off-road wheels. And also, as you might notice, I've added in the dirt level and just made it really high, so it actually looks like an old, rusty, ratty, dirty rally car. And I've also raised the suspension, made the wheels a little bit bigger, and poked them out just a little bit more so they're a bit closer to the arch. And there we have... Our rally version I mean look at the difference look how much of a change it is between this and this absolutely mad I love what we can do with just well it's just amazing how different two cars can look that are actually all the same car originally <laughs> it's amazing but there we are guys that is it Michael scratching his head I guess we should go ahead and just take this for a drive and that's going to be it for this video. I want you guys to let me know which one of those builds you like, which ones you don't like. Maybe you'd have built them a little bit differently. Let me know in the comment section below. And that's going to be it. This one's... Has this been a long video? I don't know. I spent a lot of time building these cars. But I, I'm actually genuinely trying to make the videos a little bit shorter. It's just that I like to just enjoy myself and take my time. And I realize that actually it ends up with being a really long video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you've watched through the whole thing. If you have... Say, uh, motel. There we go. There's a word for you to say in the comment section below if you've watched the entire video, but that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye!